In this video I'm going to show you how to set up what's known as the Gmail plus one method and this little trick is used to create a generic classroom Gmail account and then pupils that don't have their own email address can then use this one Gmail account to register themselves for online tools that you want them to use and what they basically do is they add in a name or a number within the Gmail address that you've set up and the internet presumes that that is a separate email address that they are using when in fact it's not it's just a sub email address of the classroom gmail address that you've set up <laughs> so it sounds complicated but actually it's very very simple so basically what you need to do is you need to create a new account within google so you'll need to go to google and you'll need to go to add an account and then you'll need to click on create account and then you'll need to fill in the information here. And then here is what the classroom Gmail account is going to be called. So try and keep it simple so that the pupils don't type it in wrong. And you'll just need to fill in the information in the boxes. Uh, you will need to fill in all the boxes, um, especially this bit here, because sometimes it does ask you to verify the account. And then when you filled in all the information there, it just needs to press on next step. And just scroll down there and press I agree. And then yeah, it's asking me to verify my account now, so I'll just need to enter in the code that it sends me. And then when I've done that, that will be my classroom Gmail account set up. So you can see in the top right hand corner here, it's set that up for me. So what I can do now, or what, what my pupils can do, is if I want them to register with a specific online tool, so for example, if I wanted them to create some online flyers within SMAR, they would all obviously need to, just log out of that, they would obviously need to all sign in with separate email addresses. So what they can, the pupils can do now is they can all use that same classroom Gmail account that I've just set up and they can add their own name or their number within the address so that the internet presumes that it, they, it, they are all separate email addresses when in fact they're not, they're all just part of the, of the same one address. So for example, let's pretend I'm a pupil called Tom and I can go to sign up here. So I can add in the Gmail address And then before I put the at gmail.com bit, I can just add, put the add plus sign and I can put a number or I could put the word Tom and then I can add the other bit. So everything else is all the same, but just this bit here is added to it. Just forgotten to put dot com. <laughs> so that's now created an account within this particular so software here for Tom. And I'll just sign out of Tom. And uh, let's say I'm another pupil within the same class called, let's say, Katie. So Katie can do the same. You can type in that Gmail address, which is Mr. E computing at gmail.com and then before the at gmail.com bit she can add her personal bit to it as well
So now Katie is logged in and she's got her own account as well. So all your pupils can all do that. Do that now what you might want to do I'll just log out of this is obviously when people if pupils forget their password or they need to reset the password and things that will obviously go to your class Gmail account that you've set up so a nifty little trick if we just go to the Gmail section of it now what you might want to do is create separate uh, sub filters so obviously if you've got 30 pupils in your class then you might want you might need to find a way of of organizing the emails that, that will be sent so what you can do is you can create some sub filters for each of your pupils so to do that and just go to the settings tab here um, and go to settings and then if I go to where it says filters here and I can create a new filter. So for Tom, just enter in that email address that I've set up for Tom. And then once you've done that, you just need to click here where it says create filter with this search. And then you'll just need to check the box here where it says apply the label. And then you just need to click on the drop down and select new label. Then what you'll need to do is just put in the text that was added after the plus sign. So in this instance, it was the word Tom. And then you just need to press create. And then you just need to press create filter. And then this has created a sub filter now for, for Tom. So you do that for all the pupils. So if you imagine you've got 30 pupils in your class all trying to reset passwords and, and things like that that might be quite hard for you to find all within the main inbox. So if you create these separate filters for the different pupil email addresses that you've set up, it just makes it easier for you to, to find specific uh, emails that are associated with them. So for example, let, let's say set up this filter now for Tom. Tom's forgotten his password within SMAR, so he needs to, to reset it. So he, just, he will but with most online tools, you would need to enter in his email address to reset it. And you imagine you've got all the other pupils all, all doing that as well. Once you're then in, G, in Gmail, rather than having to sift through all your messages within your inbox, you can just very simply just go to Tom's sub filter and then there, there the password has been sent to that so it just makes it an easy way for you to find it.